morning folks everything new under the sun this is the article that i wanted to get to here zerohedge.com retired green beret warns the public's attention is being diverted from what is really happening and this is about the false alarms the apparent mistake uh, of the missile notification being sent out in both hawaii and japan the Russian surveillance vessel, the Viktor Leonov, was reportedly leaving the Caribbean over the weekend, bound toward U.S. East Coast. Now, this story is about submarines on the U.S. East Coast, and that the U.S. is apparently tracking these feverishly. Florida will be reached by next Friday, and before this, the Kings Bay Ballistic Missile Submarine Base in Georgia is also along their projected route. This is one of the scenarios that has come up <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the recent past about uh, North Korea or, or Iran sending a dirty nuclear weapon or exploding a nuclear weapon from some merchant vessel or even from a submarine, for example, over the United States, um, uh, causing an electromagnetic pulse, an EMP blast, which would send the United States into you know, the 17th century, the 18th century, uh, prior to electricity. And that would decimate the U.S. population. Millions of people would die. This is a real and present danger. Russia could do it now if they wanted to. And apparently the U.S. Uh, has really no idea where these submarines are. They have submarine chasers looking at them. So let's, let's go on here. This comes on the heel of what has gone largely unreported by mainstream media. On Friday, uh, January 19th, a report from the U.S. National News emerged entitled Submarine Off New Jersey, a DE and MD. I don't even know what those states are. I don't know my state uh, uh, short short forums. U.S. Navy deploys nine anti-submarine aircraft off East Coast, fearing sub-missile launch against the U.S. Uh, this is a, a clear and present danger, a, a fear that they have, uh, a direct missile launch. The East Coast of the United States may be subjected to attack by a submarine. Or wouldn't this be a good time to attack them and blame it all on Trump, probably? Um, the U.S. Navy has scrambled numerous P-8A Poseidon anti-submarine aircraft to repeatedly search coastal waters from New York City to Washington, <clears throat> D.C. all day Thursday and into Thursday evening. This occurred last week, of course. According to flight records, at least nine anti-submarine warfare aircraft were sortied Thursday off the East Coast, and flight records show they were engaged in very active hunting for submarines uh, well within the 12-mile territorial limit of the United States. So could this be um, checking the defenses of Russia, checking the defenses of the United States, um, <clears throat> potentially getting ready for a preemptive nuclear strike on the United States? That would certainly take them out of superpower status if there was an EMP weapon uh, exploded over the United States. Um, uh, let's see, the article has plenty of photos with some locations of the uh, Civil Air Patrol enlisted to aid U.S. Navy with the shortfall in radio coverage and surveillance. The article also gives disposition of numerous aircraft and shows locations of monitored Russian aircraft. So we know where some of them uh, are. Um, and, of course, uh, while all this was happening, statesman Rex Tillerson uh, just came out and declared uh, at Stanford University the Japanese have over 100 North Korean fishing boats that have drifted in Japanese water. So North Korea is getting desperate. They're sending uh, people in fishing boats with no gas, no food, no way to get home. They're basically dying on the boats and floating um, to Japan. And so there's a lot of... Um, North, basically, North Korea is getting desperate, and that's kind of what, uh, what that uh, refers to. But here's another one. Um, this is another Zero Hedge one. Uh, the Dave Hodges, <clears throat> the Common Sense Show. And this is about ex-CIA clandestine officer confirms false flag missile attack upon Hawaii. So he's calling it a false flag. I, I kind of think a missile was actually launched. That's kind of the word on the street. Um, and that it was actually shot down. The Hawaiian Islands uh, incoming missile alert, which was officially downgraded to a mistake, was supposedly made due to an inattentive worker that happened during ch uh, shift change. Uh, the explanation uh, is total Bravo Sierra. As I previously reported on the broadcast, um, the process to deliver a warning of this magnitude is a five-step process. It involves two humans with keys turning the mechanism to release the information at the same time. The key mounts are eight feet apart. An accident is impossible within hours of the event, and because I was able to quickly gather information to demonstrate the Hawaiian event was no accident. The ex-CIA, um, Robert David Steele, was able to confirm the information. So, of course, uh, some warnings happening in both Hawaii and Japan. And, of course, I came out um, 
before other people were saying it and said, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's too much of a coincidence. Um, and I think it, it's either a false flag or they did, did actually shoot something down and they didn't want to alarm citizens. So they called it, uh, you know, a false, a false alarm. Multiple people approximately 100 nautical miles from a Hawaiian island saw a flash of light following an explosion uh, in the air. And so they took out some something there. And so these warnings were likely very uh, real. The time frame fits the Hawaiian warning of the incoming missile. Witnesses included a boating expedition of, ex, uh, expedition of about 10. Further, there are multiple accounts uh, in the islands of seeing a flash of light. So apparently some ex-CIA guy uh, said this. I'll, I'll put the link of this one in the description. You can check this out. But I think uh, basically the, the common understanding, the common thing that I'm coming to is that something happened here. Likely there was a real missile. They shot it down. And uh, in order to not uh, scare uh, the folks of Hawaii uh, and maybe even Japan, then they came out and said, ah, oh, it was just, just a false alarm. Um, I think the truth is going to come out here. But we have some uh, many different sources coming out and suggesting that this uh, could be uh, could have been real, uh, a false flag. You know, I don't, I don't know about false flag. That that entails like a, a terrorist uh, event, or or they use the event for some specific purpose. In this case, I don't think they use it. I think they actually shot the missile down. I think uh, U.S. Um, the U.S. Navy actually shot something out of the air, and that that it was a, a legitimate incoming missile warning to Hawaii. Um, you know, because they're not just going to make a mistake and uh, hit the button and, and uh, scare literally millions of people, 1.5 million people, I think, in, in Hawaii. So two articles um, from two different people, apparently, um, suggesting that, uh, you know, there, there's something going on here. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, the U.S. government, uh, the, the military, isn't letting everybody know for fear of scaring them, for fear of putting panic in. But I think uh, Russia is probably testing borders. North Korea is probably uh, testing response times and seeing what they can get away with, see how close they can get a missile. Uh, without actually hitting the U.S. And uh, th these are perilous times. And that Zechariah prophecy that I did in the earlier video, watch that video if you didn't watch it yet, about the Zechariah video and the the super uh, blue blood moon eclipse uh, that's coming January 31st. These could all be uh, um, uh, foreboding and, and um, uh, uh, you know, I, uh, not a pretext, but a warning of something that's coming and war in 2018. Uh, Zechariah speaks of these uh, blood moons and, and such happening in the 70th year, uh, in parallel to the 70th year of Israel being in the land. And so 2018 uh, could be a significant year of war, uh, upheaval, and significant uh, change in civilization and around the world. Uh, prophetic, prophetic events are happening, and I think the Lord is going to return soon. You guys need to be prepared. You need to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He came about 2,000 years ago. He died on the cross uh, for my sin. He died on the cross for your sin. And you need to accept him as uh, Lord and Savior. Ask him into your heart to save you. And uh, you will be saved. You'll have the joy of the Lord in your heart. And you'll know that ultimately, even if you die uh, from all these things, uh, you won't be scared. Uh, you, you know you'll be with the Lord in heaven uh, should you die. And uh, uh, possibly even... <clears throat> Uh, you know, the rapture is going to occur soon, sooner than later. And I think the seven-year tribulation is getting very close. I think we're within a couple of years of the start of the seven-year tribulation. So it makes sense that uh, the United States uh, would be taken out of uh, world superpower status any time now because they're not really mentioned specifically in any significant form in end-time Bible prophecy. So I'll leave there, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out the links. Let me know what you think of these. Incredible times we're living in. You need to be prepared.